So guys, welcome to another episode of Ultimate Bucket List, and today, I'm in Porto? Estadio do Drajao, the Dragon Stadium. This is home to FC Porto, Portugal's most successful and most recent European champions. And this stadium is effing massive. Guys, this is one seriously big ass stadium. I mean, I'm not kidding. It's taking me about five minutes just to walk around the place. And I've still not even found the entrance. Okay, I've done about two laps of this damn stadium already. Apparently, the entrance is at gate 12, allegedly. But uh, I couldn't see it when I walked past it before. So, uh, yeah, it's on the other bloody side of the stadium. And uh, I've only got five minutes left to make the next tour. So, see where that FC Porto bus is going? That's the metro station. And here's the entrance. I didn't need to do two laps of the stadium at all. So, yeah, that was a little bit of a waste of time. The tour unceremoniously starts in the car park, and this is the part where they tell you that you can't video anything, which is really annoying. But as you know guys, I'm a bastard, I record it anyway. You actually get to do a nice little lap of the pitch, and it's pretty cool to walk around the pitch, but they don't let you stand on the grass. The only time that they do is if they take a picture of you and try and sell it to you at the club shop afterwards. I obviously didn't do that. When walking around the stadium, you'll notice that there are names all over the walls. If you attended the first game here at Estadio do Dorao, your name is forever engraved into the brick here, which I think is actually kind of cool. There are a lot of names on this thing. You get to go into the presidential box, and surprise surprise, this is where all the rich and important people sit. The seats are nice and comfortable, and this is the best view of the stadium you're probably going to get, so take plenty of pictures here. They then walk you downstairs and into the media bit, where they take your picture and try and sell it to you afterwards at the gift shop, and the underground car park where the rich and famous park their cars, in and amongst a lot of artwork. Imagine that, parking your car and then walking to your seat literally two meters away. You also get to see the bus which is a thing of beauty in itself, take lots of pictures. And they don't actually let you into the home team's dressing room. It's a rule, apparently. Nobody's allowed to go in there. So instead, you make do with the visiting team's dressing room. Now, it's actually not bad. This is actually better than a lot of visiting dressing rooms that I've been into. And you get some great photo opportunities, but my advice is to wait until everybody clears out so that you can take pictures on your own. And they don't hesitate to tell you that they are champions. You actually get to walk out through the tunnel, which is kind of cool, except that every time I do one of these things, some idiot gets in my way! <sighs> anyway, my shot was completely ruined, so I'm now having to walk through without a decent tunnel shot, and you actually get to sit into the players' and coaches' dugouts. This provides some great photo opportunities, and if you are bored, it provides you with a nice comfortable seat to rest your feet and chillax until the end of the tour. Sadly, this is actually the end of the tour, as they frog march you back past the pitch and into the club's gift shop, where the tour ends. It's a nice gift shop and there's plenty to buy, and you can also go upstairs and go to the ticket office, where you can buy tickets for the next match if you want to. Now, at any time before or after the tour, you can go into the museum. Now, the museum is fantastic. It's actually one of the best museums I've ever been to, and that includes all sports. You get some interesting exhibits such as this, the Goddess of Revenge for some reason, and their trophy room is absolutely mammoth. This is possibly the most impressive trophy room I've ever seen, and I've been to the Hockey Hall of Fame and that was cool. Porto have won every single trophy that you could possibly win as a football team. And this is an amazing way to display all the trophies that they've won. You even get to see the championship bus, where they parade through the streets of Porto once they've won a trophy. And technically, you can actually go inside. The replica dressing room, whereby you can see all the shirts that have gone by in the past, 
and you get a cool TGI thing to go into. You've got a bit dedicated to just the media and you can also take photos of yourself green screen in a Porto shirt. Overall, the museum was definitely worth the money and I highly recommend you do this if you are in Porto. So I've just kind of finished the stadium tour and the museum here in Porto. They let you finish at the club shop. But I gotta say, that was probably one of the best football specific stadium tours and museums that I've ever seen. You know, and I've been to a lot. I've been to a lot of football stadiums and I've been up to a lot of tours. But honestly, this was probably one of the best, if not the best one I've been to. The museum, very interactive. It had a lot of cool stuff to see and it was nicely presented. The staff here were absolutely amazing. And to be honest, even though it's a Portuguese club, everyone speaks English, which is a massive bonus. Okay, Nin, I'm sold. What do I do? Well, you need to come here to Estadio de Dragao, which is the Dragon Stadium. You can easily find it on any metro map because it's one of the main stops on pretty much most of the metro lines. So it's really not that difficult to find. The cost to do the tour, well, it's about 15 euros for both the museum and the stadium tour. If you do just want to do the museum, I imagine you would, it's 12 euros. So if you want my advice, pay the extra three euros. Technically, I paid three euros for an audio guide. That was a little bit of a waste of money because apparently you can download it for free on a mobile phone app, which I completely didn't know about. So yeah, save your three euros and download the app that goes with the museum and stadium tour. Tours operate literally every hour. So they will literally start on the hour and they generally last for about 50 minutes. Is there anything else I need to know? Yes, it's quite a hefty walk. So if you don't like walking all that much, this is probably not a good stadium tour for you. They don't actually let you record. So the fact that I managed to get away with it just using my standard Canon camera instead of the GoPro, which is what I'm on now. Um, I can't believe I actually got away with it, but I did. So guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Comment on the comments below. And if you've got any other ideas for bucket list ideas, tweet them at me. And if I get enough suggestions, I'll go ahead and do that. So guys, I absolutely recommend the tour here at Porto. If you do get to come, let me know how you get on in the comment section below. And see you in the next episode. Now, regulars of this channel might be asking me, Nin, why are you not trolling these guys with your Manchester United shirt? Ordinarily, I would do. But honestly, I didn't even realize I was actually coming here. I just decided to come here on the fly. So I never actually packed a Manchester United shirt, though the next time I do this, I might probably do that.